So last week I sat in and attended one of the NAC webinars for building out a web app and it was about 20 people on the uh, on the session and one of them asked a question about creating a single logon page uh, where the app has got larger and you've got many user roles and you're trying to direct people to different locations. Now within the NAC knowledge base there is an article that walks you through this about how to create a single logon page. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process and what Danielle has explained here is setting it up um, and also having a page where when people arrive it kind of has a, a welcome message to their relevant section. I do it slightly differently. Um, the user doesn't see the home page. It just acts as a redirect. So we have one URL for the whole app and then we steer that user to the correct landing pages for their workflow based on their user role. So to demonstrate this, I've downloaded the custom CRM app. Uh, so when you create an app, just go to templates and download custom CRM. To ensure users only see pages they have access to, first of all, go to settings, live app design, header and menu, and make sure the box that says only show links the user has access to is checked. In the uh, builder, there's a couple of objects, contacts and notes, but we're particularly interested in the pages section. So each page is set up for accessed by a different type of person. So there's a sales rep and there's a sales manager. If I go back to records, you can see we have a sales rep user role and a manager's user role. So if you uh, click on this to expand this out, you can see that this landing page is called dashboard, which reflects this list of drop down locations here to your live app. So this link will take you to dashboard. Now in NAC, if you click on go to live app without clicking on the drop down, so if you just click on this button, it will take you to the first page in the tree. So in this case, it will take you to dashboard. That's always your start page, whatever's at the top of the stack. So if I open a couple of more of these up, just so we can see. So our pages are dashboard, leads, proposals, customers one, tasks, sales, pipeline, and calendar which obviously reflects the order of these here down to calendar uh, account settings obviously is this page right at the bottom. So if I click on the sales rep login page, I obviously get the login page here. I can click on that and go to settings and it shows me here that it needs a sales rep user role to get to this page. Go back to pages. That's the same for leads. So if I click on the sales rep and go to settings, you can see that it's sales rep for that. And it's the same right down until it gets to sales manager and on the sales pipeline page, sorry, on the sales pipeline login page, um, you need to have a sales manager to get to this. So I'm going to open the, I'm just going to copy um, this URL and close that browser, just open up a new tab, paste that in. So I've set up um, a, an account, so sales person's email address, and because this is a sales rep, it logs me into the dashboard and I can see these various pages. I'm just going to bring another browser onto the screen, go back to my app, and I'm going to pick up this sales pipeline, which I know is a sales manager. And I'm going to paste that in. And now I'm going to sign in as a sales manager. I'm just going to get both of these up on the screen at the same time. So you can see on the top browser I have dashboard leads, proposals, customers one and calendar. And on the sales manager, I have calendar that's shared and sales pipeline. So with the calendar, we can both see that. And if I go back into the builder and back to pages, if I click on the calendar login page, it actually already says all users. But if I click on the page and go to settings, see sales reps and sales managers can see that. So in this situation, it would require you to send out two URLs. You'd have to send out the pipeline URL for sales managers and then the dashboard URL for sales reps. So to get around that, we can build a home page, and when the user arrives at the home page, we redirect them based on that user role. So I've just collapsed all my pages down. So first thing to do is add a page and it is a login page and you set it that uh, you give permission to all users of the application. Continue. You have to name it home page and add the page. Now at this point, it's asking me to add a view. I don't need to add anything on here. I'm actually just going to click back and go to pages. 
and it's put it at the bottom of the stack. So I just need to move this up to the top. So if I click on, so this is my login page and this login page is set that anybody can get to it that has a, uh, a user account. The actual home page they will arrive at is blank. And this is well in Danielle's, in Danielle's blog uh, on the forum. Um, it mentions about uh, putting the welcome message here. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to add a rule. So on the rules, add a rule. And we're going to leverage the user accounts. So the accounts object uses, users roles. So if it, uh, it can have either is, depends on how many roles they've got. In this case, each person only has one role, but you can use contains. But I'm going to say if it contains sales rep, redirect them to an existing page. And for the sales rep, we want their landing page to be the dashboard. We can then copy this rule and then change it to sales manager, redirect them to sales pipeline and save. The other thing we need to do is just to click on the settings of the login page and remove the check marks so that the page is hidden. So now what will happen is they'll arrive at the home page which is hidden and then based on their user role they'll redirect. So if I go back up to my stack of uh, pages here. This is my home page link. I can copy that. Just pasted that into a uh, notepad. And as you can see here, it just ends home page. So this would now be the single URL that you would send out to everybody. And in this case, we've got two user roles, but as it grows, it would just have one URL. It makes it a lot easier as your application scales. So I'm going to use this now. So in this browser here, I've put my new URL in, which ends home page. Signing in as the manager takes you to the hidden home page and immediately redirects you. So I only see those two tabs. If I move over to the other browser, I'm now signing in once again on my home page URL, signing in as a sales rep. That then redirects me and shows me my sales rep pages. Okay, I hope that was useful. Look forward to catching you on the next one.